In this video, I want to show you how you can edit or customize your block header. Okay, when you log into your WordPress dashboard, click uh, Design Options. Okay, you navigate to the header tab here. Okay, it's loading up a little bit slow. Please be patient with me. Okay. Once you click the header tab here, you're going to see a screen like this. And let's just check out what the uh, block looks like before we do any changes here. Okay, so the default settings uh, I have for my block uh, currently looks like this. Okay, so we want to change the header. Right, so you can use a text site title instead of an image logo. Image logo is the, 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 the logo here on the left side of the header. We can remove this if we want. Okay, we just need to tick this box and, and it, where it says that check this box to use a text site title instead of an image logo. You can set it up in WordPress settings general. You click this. Okay. So whatever you write here as your site title and your tagline is going to show up here and replace this uh, logo image. Okay, now let's save changes and see if it works. Okay, I'm going to refresh this page. There you go. So the image, the logo has been replaced by the text and you can edit the text here. So whatever you write on this in on, under the site title and the tagline is going to show up here when you go and check this box. Okay, if you want a text site title instead of an image logo. Okay, I'm going to uncheck this box. Now, let's say you don't want to Okay, let me just show you. When I uncheck this box and I hit save changes, I hit refresh, the previous logo will appear here, Profit Steam logo, right? Now, let's go back here. Header logo or image logo, right? So if you want, if I want to change this uh, Profit Team logo I can and I just need to upload the image and choose an image from my computer okay it's uploading I hit save changes refresh there you go this is the image which I have okay specified here Hold on one second, which I have specified here, right? And if you see this image here, there are white spaces, which makes it kind of like a little bit ugly. So what you need to make sure is when you create your image, you uh, it's all it's always good. It's, it's best to use a transparent PNG image. Okay, this image that I I just shown I've just showed you is. It's a JPEG image, so uh, it has the white background, which makes the header quite ugly, looks quite ugly. And so for best results, always use a transparent PNG image. Okay, next we have the custom header height. We can change this if you want. For example, 150. We change it from 150 to 300. We click Save Changes. Okay, see here, okay, the header height is going to increase. Okay, watch here. There you go. The header height has increased to 300, right? And it's uh, not showing up really good because there's kind of like a space here. So for best results, it's always uh, the the cut the default 
header height is already good. Uh, it gives you a hint here. It gives you a hint here actually. The current header height is already good. Okay, so uh, we I highly recommend that you use the default header height settings because to to maximize the the beauty of your block. Okay. Next, we move on to the header image type. Header image type is basically, uh, hold on, let me just save the changes first. Okay, hold on one second. Right. So the header image type is basically what is going to show up uh, on, on, on your header, right? You just now we saw that we can change the logo logo uh, on the left side of the header. Now we can actually also change uh, customize our header that's going to appear uh, on, on the right side or or on in the center. Okay. So for example, if I choose header image type, if I choose default header image, then uh, it's, it's not going to show up. This default header image is just uh, what came with Profits team. Okay, you can see this in a moment. So it's basically just blank default header image. If you choose use Profits team pre-made header, you can choose from a variety of pictures uh, under different niches as you can see here. We have the computer, internet, parenting, dating, business, uh, e-marketing, health and fitness, sports and betting. Okay, so for example, if I want to choose uh, hosting, okay, I choose one of the images here, hosting one, and and I click save changes. I hit refresh here. There you go. I have. It's going to show up on my right side. Okay, if I use the pre-made profit team pre-made header. Okay, we can, I can choose other images if I want. But for this demonstration purposes, I just want to show you that it's possible that you can use pre profit team pre-made header to to show up on on the right side of your header. Okay, now. Let's say that you want to use your own. Hold on a second. Let me just explain this one. Now, on the header right side, you have your hosting image here. So, if you have your hosting image, and you want to uh, header right side, you can. If you want to show your RSS big RSS button, or your show your search form, or your ads four six eight by 60 at over here is going to overlap with this image that you have just that you have just chosen right see if header header right side what do you want to show on the header right side since the header right side currently has an uh, has hosting image is is going to overlap right if profits team custom header image above is selected right so let me just give you uh, show you for example, if I want to show the show big RSS button, I hit save changes. I hit refresh. See, it's going to overlap, right? So be careful when you actually choose uh, Profit Steam custom pre-made header. It's going to put the image on the right side and it's going to overlap to whatever if you specify uh, one of the three uh, options here. So my uh, recommendation is to leave it blank. Okay, now instead of using the profit team pre-made header, you can also use your own custom header image. You just need to click the upload image and choose one, choose, choose the image that you want to upload. It's uploading here. Okay, give it a second, it's done. Now you have the options of choosing where you want your custom image to show up you want do you want to show up 
on the left, center, or the right. If it's to the right, then it's going obviously it's going to overlap again with this hosting image. If you choose to the left, then it's obviously it's going to overlap uh, to to the image logo that we have chosen here, right? So let's try center. Right, let's try center. Save changes. Okay, hit refresh. There you go. It's showing up on the center. It's overlapping here because the image I have chosen, the add to cut button here is very big. So if you have a logo, a small a smaller logo and a smaller image here, it's not going to overlap. Right. Again, remember right side, header right side. If you choose right here and you choose header right side, you choose one of the options here, it's going to overlap as well. So that's the uh, training video for if you want to customize your blog header.